here we have a problem with some inscribed angles and a chord and a tangent to a circle. And we've got some arc lengths uh, given to us, uh, and we've got to figure out some measures of angles. I think it's best to take this a step at a time and just add whatever information we're given or can figure out as we go. This first piece of information we're given is that arc EFG. So from E through F all the way to G is 288 degrees of this circle. That means this little piece left over is 360 minus 288. I'm just going to mark that in a different color. And that is 72. So this is 72 degrees of arc right here. And we're also told that EF is a diameter. So we know that um, this distance right here, let's uh, choose a different color. Oops. This is 180 degrees. OK, so let's see if we can get some answers to what they're looking for now. It says find the angle of FEG. So FEG is this one right here. So the arc that it intercepts is this portion right here. And that would be this part of this 180 minus the 72. So I would just take 180 minus 72, and I've, I would have 108 degrees of arc. This is an inscribed angle. It starts from the opposite side of the circle, not from the center. So it's going to be half of that. So this is going to be 54 degrees right there. So 54 degrees is FEH, sorry, FEG. Now we want to find angle GEH. That's this one right here between the chord and the tangent. And an angle formed by a chord and a tangent, it works the same way an inscribed angle does. So the arc that it intercepts here, we just take half of that to get the angle. So half of 72 is 36. So this is going to be 36 degrees. And that is a little bit of work with inscribed angles, chords, and tangents.